Hi all, welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Amit and today again we are going to see some advanced topic of OBI reporting. Today I am going to show you how to simulate a, simulate a voting bar using Google APIs. We are going to actually use horizontal uh, bar chart and it will simulate as if it's a voting bar. And in this process we are going to use Google API in OBI. How it is going to look like? I like to visualize it first before we proceed further. So in this we are going to have three columns, product type, revenue and the revenues are being shown in terms of bar. The bar height shows the voting percentage, right, from 0 to 100 percentage and the bar color. This is basically a Google chart, Google bar chart, horizontal Google bar chart with render on the fly depends upon the value you pass over here. I'll show you step by step. The easiest way to render the bar chart is to just copy this URL. I've copied this URL and I uh, post into my Google and I see depends upon the value I pass my bar chart render. What all it consists of, I'm calling chart.apis.google.com and I pass various parameters to the chart get render. Out of all the parameters, two parameters are very important to pay attention. My chart renders depends upon the data string I pass to it. CHD, this is a data string. What exactly I'm going to do? I'll convert this static chart with my dynamic chart. This value I'll pass, replace with my variable contains. So I'll pass my revenue and my chart will render dynamically. We have passed over here static value, static data string. It will be replaced with my column name or column position and my chart will render on the fly. Let's see how it works. So before we actually jump into and start doing it, creating hands-on chart, let's understand what are the important parameter I pass to this chart. So we use Go Google chart API, uh, it return a chart image in response to the URL get on post we submit to the browser. So we can generate many kind of charts depends on the chart type you specify including there is a chart type parameter, chart type. Here the another example I render a uh, 3D chart, CHT 3D chart. So it depends upon what argument you pass uh, to the browser, the chart render on the fly. In addition to this chart type we can give various other parameters like chart data, size, color, label and various other parameter. This is an example of rendering chart. You can simply pass this value to your browser and to render the chart on the fly. I copy this and pass this value. Now see the first chart example we see it was a bar chart, horizontal bar chart. Now I the same example I change the chart type as pie chart, uh, chart type as P3, pie chart, pie chart, 3D pie chart and it has got two slice hello and world and the percentage given over here 60 percent 40 percent. I could even turn this pie chart to my line chart. I just change my parameter to LC. It turns out to be line chart. So the chart render by your chart.google.apis.com depends upon the argument you pass to the chart. Before we actually start designing the chart, let's see some of the important arguments. Uh, so in the whole URL, this part is constant. You specify chart.googleapis.com and chart. And then with the question mark you specify various parameter. One parameter is your chart type, chart access, uh, chart data and all these things. Right. Now let's see one by one. The first parameter is called chart label. Well you can change the order as well. The first parameter is called chart label. Custom values to show the chart access. Right in this example, I got x axis and y axis. You see, chart label has got two arguments: zero and one, x and y axis. In x axis, I have got January, February, March, April, May, and y axis, I have got minimum, mid, and maximum. And my line chart render depends upon the argument data value I pass to this chart label. The second one is called chart style sheet. It is also rendered on the browser. So which consists of your color, size, alignment and various other formatting options. 
in a documentation a student guide you can find the detail of each style in detail this is another example of chart type chart style uh, we use chart style and these are parameter I passed next important parameter is very important parameter is chart type so you see we prepare three kind of chart line chart pie chart and bar chart so it depends upon what argument passed to this CHT for line chart you pass LC for bar chart B H bar horizontal or bar vertical or you can type a pie chart called P and chart render accordingly you can also specify your axis is going to be visible or not you can hide the axis and make it visible the parameter you pass over here called CHXT to define your chart axis so whether it is line chart, bar chart, radar, or scatter chart show one or more two axis line by default but these lines do not include the value just shows the your line chart of a axis in your chart Chart size is also important. You see chart size mentioned over here 100 by 40. Depends upon the value you change your chart render on the fly. For example, this is my line chart. Right? And I change the size of it. It's 250 by 100. I make 250 by 200. This is my line chart. I could turn, turn the type of the chart. Chart type. Chart type I make it as rather line chart. I make it bar chart. Bar horizontal. I think my argument is wrong. I'll check pie chart P3. I pie chart get rendered. So it exactly works the way that you pass an argument to this. What we need to do it in OBI we do make this argument dynamic whichever it is needed. Then we have a chart marker which is represented by CHM D and which talk about various marking details. So I would recommend you to get a little walkthrough about all the parameter once before you start designing a Google chart. The better you know about all these parameters, the better chart you can design. The most important path which is mandatory in this is called chart data string. It's a string type, make a note. CHD T colon you special data string. It's a string type. So whenever I pass value from OBI, I need to make sure I'm doing type casting to the string type. In our example also, if you look at the one which you prepare in bar chart, uh, the first example which you prepared, data string, we passed a couple of data string. This was the first example we see. The last four parameter you see in the bold color are data string, 10, 40, 50, and 30. And accordingly, my bar chart is rendered, 10, 30, 50, and 40. This is 100% and these are percentage because you pass the last argument is 10, 30, 10, 40, 50, and 30. Right. We want this parameter to be dynamic from OBI. So let's see how to do this, how to achieve this. I'll, I'll design this, uh, this chart which comes of product type, revenue, and the graphical presentation of revenue using voting bar. Right. Let's do it in two simple steps. First, I'll create a new analysis. I'll go to new and create analysis based on my sample sample sales I need three column I need product line of business or product type whatever you want I use product type then I select revenue and I'll take two instances of revenue one would be numeric presentation another one would be graphical presentation I rename it the second one to make it meaningful I right click and go to my Edit formula, change the type of my column, name of my column. I'll call it, this is voting bar. Save it. That's it. Before we proceed further, I'd like to show the output. This is a simple list of product type, revenue and voting bar. Revenue and voting bar basically one data of elements, but has two different names. Now, because the data of element is very high, I'll take a sign of this value. First, I apply sign function of this value take a sign of it and then I multiply by 100 if you do not multiply the value would display is minus therefore it is important to take a multiplication of it 
so let's get started take assign the value of this let's look at the output sign value of my voting bar I multiply by 100 and therefore uh, this would be in percentage and the, somewhere the output is negative to neutralize the output I would be taking a absolute value of my data element I get a negative value as well in some places so I'll take a absolute value of this so that I can eliminate the negative so I'll take absolute ABS function and pass it as an argument let's process and see step by step so my negative value turns out to be positive now because it accept only string parameter I need to type call this to a string type in order to draw the chart data parameter should be string type so I click on edit formula and I'll cast it. Casting takes two argument. First is a column, right? And second argument is your what type? I wanted to var care twenty type. Let's see this. Okay, some syntax error. Okay, var care as uh, casting this as var care. done now click on OK and check the output because I turn over this to a string type where cat type you know my query processing would be slower now I'll change the type of this column as custom defined type it, it is taking a little extra time so you see the value in decimal places 99.26 I'll pass this data as a string type now to my chart in order to render the chart <coughs> so, so I first before I type this type this uh, pass this value dynamic value I'll take another column and pass a static value and show you what is the difference when I pass a static value it will create a chart so from here I'll select and add one more column here and I change the column type as custom defined column change it to under column properties data format make it to custom string and pass over here custom string value this is my custom string value and save ok right now what I want I will pass I'll make a static chart over here under edit formula the one expression I copy from here I'll put it over here copy from my browser copy it and put it your virtual machine into your column definition I copy from there and just paste it over here I put in single quotes which is a string parameter I'll put in a single quotes this renders my static chart and at last I'll replace this static chart data element with a dynamic value click OK and let's see the output. I should have changed the column name as well but anyway let's see the output now see the chart get rendered but the value of the chart is static in this example we want to pass this value dynamically see the whole chart this taking a static value now what I do the one which I the expression which I have written I'll just change the type of the expression as dynamic click on add it and my data element would be dynamic the one which is just now render where care string and convert into string type so I replace the static value with the expression the one which I just now prepared uh, take a sign value of it multiply by 100 to display percentage take an absolute value of the and finally type cast in a where care it is done click OK and then let's see the output so this is the bars are being created this is all these bars <coughs> all these bars are being rendered in your browser and finally present in your OBI this way you can create 
any kind of bar chart, any kind of chart remaining in OBI by passing the different parameter to your charts, Google chart. So that's it for today. Keep watching our more videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel and access close to 1000 videos about different BI products. Thanks for joining today's session. Have a good day ahead. Should you have a question, please feel free to approach to us. This is our email ID and number.